What do you see in this picture? Can you classify the objects into groups? How many groups will we have? Can you name each group? As you can see, the objects are randomly arranged. Some are fruits, while some are balls. We can therefore rearrange the objects into two groups that are group of balls and group of fruits. Since both groups are collections of well-defined and distinct objects, both are sets. Each object of a set is also called an element or member of that set. So how do we express a set? There are several ways to express a set. Here, we will learn how to express a set in tabular or roster form. In this form, all the elements of a set are listed in braces. All individual elements are separated by commas. From the previous examples, if we represent the set of fruits with f, then set f in tabular form is equal to open brace, apple, comma, banana, comma, watermelon, comma, strawberry, comma, orange, close brace. Let's look at another example. A set B contains the first four prime numbers. Recall that a number that is divisible only by itself and one is called a prime number. So the first four prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, and 7. If B represents this set, then set B in tabular or roster form is equal to open brace 2, comma, 3, comma, 5, comma, 7, close brace. Now that we've learned about tabular form, take a minute to determine how this set of letters can be expressed in tabular form. Let us now review the problem. We will name the set A. In the tabular form, we can write this as A equals open brace A, comma P, comma L, comma E, close brace. Observe that there is only one P, not two, because the elements of a set must be distinct. We do not repeat similar elements in a set. We learned that sets can be expressed in several different ways. The tabular or roster form lists all the distinct elements of a set within braces and each element is separated by commas.